engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. One of the big challenges of observing in infrared light is that our atmosphere absorbs a lot of that light. Um, our atmosphere is also kind of warm and warm things radiate infrared light. And so if you have an infrared telescope on the ground and you're trying to look up at astronomical objects, the water vapor in our own atmosphere uh, and just the warmth of our atmosphere creates a kind of fog on the lens or a fog on the images that you can't get rid of because we're looking through the atmosphere. So the great thing about the James Webb Space Telescope is it's gonna go a million miles from Earth. So it's gonna have a clear view of the universe. Um, but we haven't launched the James Webb yet. And so for many years, we've had this wonderful observatory that basically is a telescope mounted in a 747 aircraft Literally, they cut a big hole in the side of the, the airplane to mount a two and a half meter diameter telescope, and it can fly up to 40,000 feet and get above enough of the atmosphere and the water vapor that it gets a much clearer view of the sky. The other big benefit of the SOFIA Observatory is that the telescope is permanently mounted inside, and it can point around as the airplane flies but we can build new scientific instruments that are pretty big and mount them in the aircraft and then change them out. So this is like getting a better camera uh, and putting it in the airplane uh, so that you can really zero in on exactly the science that you want to do um, and improve that science over time. Um, so if, if you take a flight and the instrument doesn't work, uh, when it lands, you can also fix that instrument and make another flight. Uh, so it's really a, a great capability that we have with the SOFIA Observatory. And, and it will complement the James Webb Space Telescope um, because some of the instruments on SOFIA are, allow you to do science that can't be done on James Webb. Um, but perhaps you look at something with James Webb and it looks really interesting. You can then fly SOFIA and get even more information to try and understand what James Webb was seeing. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. Well, again, it, it's a question of does the atmosphere absorb that particular wavelength of light? Um, and so for visible light, you know, most of the light gets through, uh, but of course, some of the light gets scattered and that explains why the sky is blue. Some infrared light doesn't make it to the ground. Some does. Ultraviolet light, most of it does not make it to the ground, which is a good thing because the sun is very bright in the ultraviolet. And if it made it to the ground, we'd all get sunburned all the time really fast, or life might not have existed at all. Um, radio waves typically make it through the atmosphere pretty easily. And so we're able to build very large radio observatories here on, on the ground on Earth. 